Pittsburgh High School is a great school for many reasons. There are friendly people, good teachers, and many athletic opportunities. But one thing that is missing is the opportunity to take advanced placement classes. Advanced placement is a program created by the College Board that offers college-level classes and exams. These exams allow high school students to potentially earn college credits during high school. This is just one example of the many advantages of AP classes and why I think they should be available to PHS students. AP classes offer a chance for students to challenge themselves with tougher classes. Many high school classes don't prepare students for the faster paced college courses that they may take after graduation. Students have a rude awakening when they enter college life and aren't prepared for more independent studying and harder exams. Senior Kara Hughes wishes that she had the chance to take some more difficult classes. I would have been interested in taking AP classes if they were offered because I feel like they'd be more challenging than our regular curriculum. Freshman Burke Venus would also be interested in taking AP classes because of the opportunity to take more difficult classes. A good challenge for kids are not being challenged in normal classes. Many times kids from larger schools have an advantage when they go to college because they had the opportunity to take AP classes. If a student takes the exam at the end of the class and scored a 4 or 5 on it, they receive college credits in return. This allows the students who attended larger schools to take fewer classes each year of college because they have already earned those credits. So they have more open schedule and more free time during the stressful years of college. Junior Haley Miller wants to earn college credits in high school, so she sees the advantages of AP classes. I take AP classes because they would help me get college credits. AP classes are also rated on a 5.0 scale. This means that when a student takes an AP class and gets an A in it, they can raise their GPA over a 4.0 rather than if they get an A in a normal high school class, then they can only get a 4.0 as the highest GPA possible. So students can raise their 4.0 to become the sole valedictorian. Being the valedictorian of a class does not hold the same significance as it used to, but it can still gain student scholarships to reduce their amount of student loans. Sophomore Allison Parsons would like to take AP classes because she wants a chance to have the top grade in the class. I would like to take AP classes so I can raise my 4.0 to become sole valedictorian. But Pittsburgh does not offer these classes. There are many reasons as to why Pittsburgh doesn't offer AP courses, but the main reason is the lack of students who would take the classes. What is the point of having a teacher teach an advanced class of 6 when they could have a high school class of 30? Students also have required classes that they need to take. This would create scheduling conflicts, causing even fewer students to take these classes. Even though AP classes offer many benefits, Pittsburgh Area Schools does not have the numbers to follow through with these ideas. Pittsburgh Dean of Students, Mrs. Clark, thinks that AP classes would not be practical for Pittsburgh. So the reason behind AP classes not being offered at Pittsburgh Area Schools I'm not exactly certain myself. Uh, this is my first year here at the school, so I can only take a couple guesses. Uh, one would be that it probably serves a very small percentage of students here, so would it be cost effective for the district? That's probably my number one guess. Uh, there is a lot to go through to be able to offer AP classes, and some of the teachers would have to become AP certified as well.